Matt Pat, now that you're doing side quests, can you please reach out to me about my Bendy and the Ink Machine, the musical concept album? I am not original. And neither are you, but that's okay. As long as we don't piss off H Bomber Guy, we're in the clear. If you haven't noticed, this little rant series of mine has gotten a bit of an upgrade. Not only do I have an entirely new background, but I also have an entirely new character model, which I think is pretty cool. I made this little rant series intentionally so I can make videos that were quick and easy in between bigger animations. Turns out the easiest way to make videos is just to steal ideas from other people. Hey there, Brent Rivera. But don't worry, I try to steal in the fun art way and not in the evil cap capitalist I'm taking your work so I can make money way. I mean the desk setup and the way that I'm moving is basically all ripped from watching Moist Critical. I mean his videos are so matter of fact and his voice is so smooth that I just forget that he's shorter than me. And if my friend group has taught me anything it is that you can steal from short people. And if they try to bite your ankles then shake them off like they're a rabbit chihuahua. Looking at you well this is embarrassing. And I mean my character model isn't even original. My character never used to wear a hoodie. Then suddenly I watch one too many quiet videos and now look at me. The funny thing about this character model was that it wasn't even supposed to be me in the first place. Here's a little Elias history lesson for you. Back when I first launched this channel, one of the original projects that I uploaded, no, not that, was a short film called Clay's World. Clay's World was a CG animated stop motion VFX type short. It, it's bad, don't watch it. But you may notice something about the titular main character, Clayton. Look at me, look at Clayton, look at me again. You noticing the thing? Yeah, when I originally made my little character, I just stole the model for my own short film. Then I retextured it, made some poses, and slapped it into a video. I find it funny because I'm basically a Digimon evolution at this point. I've switched art styles, I've switched sizes, like I've done all the different things. And after all that work. I did different styles of videos, different character animations, different types of skits, all the things I could possibly think of. I ended with just ripping someone else off. God, I love the internet. Uh, bye!